Hi everyone, Eleanor from Hobby King here and welcome to the first episode of the Hobby King Weekly Wrap. Each week we'll go through new items, view entries and announce winners for the weekly competition and also have a look at what the RC community is up to. On special occasions we will also be showing you some behind the scenes footage and on even more special occasions we'll show you sneak peeks of upcoming products. Let's get into it! First up we have the new items of the week. We had a brand new FR Sky carry case for all you Tyrannus X9D users out there, some Turnergy 25T servos, Trackstar 110 scale brushed motors, for all you FPVers out there, some Furious FPV Big Mac antennas, a quantum servo based pan and tilt mount, new Graphene Panther 75C batteries, a 504S, a 1500 3S, 854S, and a 951S. Back in stock in all warehouses, we have the Avios Grand Tundra, the big brother of the Durafly Tundra. And, drumroll please, our major release for this week is the Avios Spitfire. If you haven't seen the promo video, here's some of it now. Weekly competition time. I'm gonna dance every time. Each week we will show you some highlights and winners of the weekly competition. We are currently running Pimp My Sleigh, where all you have to do is decorate your favorite RC in its most festive getup in a sleigh fit for Santa. The winner will receive $100 store credit. This week we had Andrew from the UK with his lit up RC plane, Stefan from Germany with a Hanukkah themed drone, Matthew from the UK, who captioned his photo with the elves are off their shelves and gone for a bit of sleigh racing. Very cute. And our winner this week is Instagram user RC Models and More, who pimped out his Piper Cub that he is currently working on. Congratulations, and $100 of store credit is on its way to you. So to enter, post your pictures on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and use the hashtag PimpMySleigh. Or you can enter via the Hobby King website. The links will be below. If you don't win, but you do appear in one of our weekly wrap videos, surprise, you receive $10 in store credit. Each week, we will take a look at what the RC community is up to. So if you're working on something like a special build or a modification, let us know. Let's take a quick trip around the world. James from the United States wasn't too keen on the Sky Sword color scheme, so decided to make one of his own. He calls this the X-Jet, which he says was inspired by Mad Magazine's Spy vs. Spy, or something that NASA would use for high-speed testing. Carlos from Brazil has modified his Durafly EFX racer to run on Nitro. You'll have to let us know how fast it goes, and also how many times you've crashed it, because it's starting to look a little beat up. Stuart from the UK has been racing a mini queue around his kitchen with an FPV camera on top. It looks like it would be a lot of fun, Stuart, so please send us some footage if you have it. Stirler from Iceland recently bought a ton of parts from Hobby King to add to his giant scale DC3 C47 RC model plane. Wow, what a beautiful piece of art. And Robert from Slovenia, who runs a great YouTube channel, has combined two Durafly ME 163 Comets with Skysword parts on it. This elevator is working perfectly. Wow, very creative, Robert. Keep up the entertaining videos and builds. To contribute, visit the Hobby King community page on Facebook or email us at weeklywrap at hobbyking.com or simply tag your pictures or video with the hashtag HKWeeklyWrap. We will hunt it down and we will find it. If you happen to feature on the Weekly Wrap, we will give you $10 in store credit. So that concludes our Weekly Wrap. Today I'm going to leave you with some behind the scenes footage of the promo video we shot for the Avios C130. If you missed out on being one of the first to own the Avios C130, do not worry. We have new stock landing in early January and it will be available for everyone. So enjoy the behind the scenes and I will see you next week. Bye bye. We're uh, doing some air to air footage of the C130. It's always a bit of a fine balance between too far away, too close. You've got to have constant communication with the pilot. At that time, we just got a little bit too close. And we damaged the C-130 just a little bit. But drone one, 
fighting none.